Saturday. Well, now we welcome into the studio our basketball insider and True Blue reporter, Jerem Jordan. Jerem sat down with center Trent Playstead after his big weekend against Louisville in North Carolina. Well, thanks, Holly. Yeah, he made quite a name for himself with two great performances versus nationally ranked Louisville and North Carolina, as you mentioned. I asked Trent about his big performance. Here with Trent Playston and Trent, a uh, big weekend for the team and you. I guess just uh, how excited is this team after that weekend? You know, uh, we're really excited about the fact that we got a big win versus Louisville. I think that it's kind of funny around, around Provo, people are keep high-fiving us and stuff. We just <laughs> lost a basketball game. <laughs> But um, as a team, we're, we think we, you know, all in all, the weekend was a success. But you know, we're sitting on a loss right now. We want to go out and get a win versus Portland. Do you take any moral victories from the game against North Carolina? Because yeah, they're number one, uh, the number one team in the country. But you got it was a game that you guys could have won. Yeah, I mean that's the thing is, moral victories don't mean a lot in the game of basketball. And you know, we think we did some good things. There's no question about that. But we also think that we could have played a lot better, and we think that we could have won that basketball game. And the fact is that we got a loss now and, and we got to prepare for the next team and move on. What's the team's reaction to being ranked in the top 25? You know, we have there hasn't really been much talk about the top 25. I think I think this week we've had a good week of practice thus far. You know, we've responded well and you know hopefully it'll show Saturday night versus Portland. Dick Vitale had some nice words to say about you Saturday. I'll tell you what, my friends, he is the best big man in America nobody knows about. Remember that name, Trent Playstead. Trent Playstead. Trent Playstead. Does that mean anything to you? Yeah, I heard about that, you know, and I'm flattered by the compliment. And Dickie V, he's a, he's a big time announcer, and a lot of people really love Dick Vitale. And, and as, as flattering as the compliment was, you know, it's one game. And, and I got to keep progressing from there. And it doesn't do me a whole lot of good to play well against North Carolina and then go lay an egg somewhere else. And so if I, gotta, if I continue to improve, I should be fine. What did, what did this team prove over the weekend in Vegas? I think we proved that we could play with anybody in the country. I think that not only did we prove that we could play with anybody, I think we proved that we could win some of those basketball games. And I think that, if anything, this weekend gave us a little bit of confidence. How do you maintain perspective on the season as a whole but not lose sight of the goal at, at task? I think that if, if you start thinking in too broad terms is when your, your mind starts going, you know, where probably where it should. And I think if you just stay focused on the next practice, the next game, you should be okay and not worry about, you know, who's down the line or what, you know, what people are saying to you at the time. I mean, for all I know, there may be a time where people are not so hot about us. You know, right now we're, we're playing well, and that's, that's a tribute to our team, a tribute to our coaching staff. But if we just focus on the next game, the next practice, we're going to be okay. Jerem Jordan, BYU Sports Network. Well, as you can see, Trent and the team are very focused on not making the win versus Louisville their highlight of the year.